Director, Center for Islamic Studies, Professor uh, Professor Salihu is also Muhammad Yahya Al Ali is also here with us. And also our guest speaker for the closing ceremony. One of our own, Professor Salih Chihuahua Chapal Balewa, Vice Chancellor of Istikama University, is also here with us. So we all welcome the vice the co-host, the Vice Chancellor Osman Nabudi University, so Professor Professor Ibis to come to the podium for this remark. Yes, it is. It is therefore my similar honor and privilege 
Glory to you, Lord, this event be organized by the Sabra Foundation of Quranic Tradition in Nigeria, Santa of Islamic Studies, Usman of Queen of the Sokoto, and Hosea of this year by the Hospital Government. We are all expecting representation from the Tadisistas of Operation, including the CEO of the Nazi Sinatra, who has been this year event. It is one to love that. It is one to one and remain positive for the stronghold of the country of Sheikh Usman of Ohio who champion the hosting of this event for the time. This is a manifestation of the sincere and faithful commitment to both the authority and the people of the state for serving Islam. The earlier hosting was in 1990 and 2006 and will have a very good outing for the hosting. And again today, for the third time, the very few hosted by the good people of both states. On that, it's to wish a senator and the governor, Senator Bala Muhammad, Muhammad, CEO and all of us. No doubt this event will expose the strong bond of traditional and protective relationship between Boshi, Sokoto, and Osman of the May Allah Bani wa Ta'ala reward His Excellency and the entire people of Boshi abundantly. Your Excellencies, Royal Highnesses, distributed brothers and sisters I would like to use this opportunity to remind you that among the heirs of the city of this competition are mobilized, mobilized children of youth, most male and female, from age 7 to 25, he has planned over the tradition, mobilization, and most of the boys, more of the children of the tradition of the world's land. So the unity and peaceful coexistence among the Jews and non Jews by committing in Umba through a practical teaching of Islam. Increase the number of teachers and the status of the Holy Quran, discover the real Muslim youth for those who scholarships awards by government and other philanthropists to pursue their higher education. And select top position for winner for competition for representing Nigeria at similar international events organized across the globe like Saudi Arabia, Malaysia, Kuwait, Egypt, and so on. For the realization of this goal, the ambitious participants are contesting in six categories. The competition comes with the lowest, which is two portions of the Quran, second, 20 portions of the Quran, third, 40 portions of the Quran, 60 portions of the Quran without a field, and 60 portions of the Quran without a field. Presented in sixth, fifth, Fourth, third, second, and first category we use Prizes and are normally awarded the best five, besides just one five, in all the categories. The competition based male and female. However, as we talk all participants are reminded that winning a prize is not the utmost goal of this competition. Every decider is a winner, as long as he or she is not contesting for a prize. Of the ocean, but seeking the pleasure and the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I would like to use this opportunity to bring you on the activities of Santa of the Holy Spirit and Usman of the Holy The center was established and took effect in 1982 with the proper humanity to conduct in-depth and variety researches in Islamic studies, culture, and tradition. It immediately conducted researches on the South Calvinist literature in particular and other Islamic literature in Nigeria and West African subregions. The center also served as a forum to exchange and disseminate knowledge in Islamic studies and other related uh, disciplines through symposia, conferences, seminars, and so on. And completing the result of such deliberations appropriately. Although it also conducts certificate and diploma programs in Arabic and Islamic studies, as well as organizing famous events that were witnessed today. Once again, on behalf of Usman of the University community, the participants, and all stakeholders in the conduct of the 36th national competition, I would also like to offer our commendation and sincere gratitude to His Excellency Senator Balaki Muhammad. 
CEO and John Lamboshi, the executive John of Bush takes for all this event. We congratulate on his royal highness, the Emir of Bush, the Dr. Ridwan Suleiman Adamu, CFR, Sarkin Yaiti John of Somalia, and all good people of Bush State. You are stylish and kindness and brotherhood. It is we thank, we ask Almighty Allah to reward you abundantly. Finally, I would like to thank each and every one of you who find the time to create this important occasion. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward us abundantly. And may He spare our lives to witness many of these events in the coming years. I would also like to use the opportunity to ask the organizers that the Osman Lafo University, the Center of Islamic Studies, and the Washington government to pray for peace to return to our motherland. May Almighty Allah bring peace to Nigeria. Thank you very much for the attention and goodness. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, that was the speech by the Vice Chancellor of the Amadeus. Okay, by Vice Chancellor Professor A.F. Dudis. This summer, Your Excellency, we will listen to your presentation by the guest speaker, Dr. Khalid Abu Bakr Ali, who is currently the chairman of the Washington Hospital in Islam. Just coming towards the microphone. He is the Secretary General of the Jamaat al Nusra al Islam. At the same time, he is going to present his speech as a guest You are welcome, sir. Thank you. Members 
of the National Organizing Committee and LOC gentlemen of the press, brothers and sisters in Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is indeed gratifying that I thank the government of both states through the LOC for extending this invitation to me and, the, and as the guest speaker and the guest and the gesture of being the speaker at this auspicious occasion of the 36th edition of the National Economic Strategic Competition hosted by both the government and to speak on the theme where is the Quran? In our lives, undoubtedly, one of the most meritorious acts which Allah exhausts Muslims to hold very dearly and is also pleased with is learning with ambition and perfect. Very those who recite the book of Allah, the Quran, and perform a salah, Islamic salah, and spend in charity out of what we have provided for them, secretly and openly, they have hoped for a sure trade gain that will never perish, that he may pay them their waste in food and give them even more out of his grace, verily. Is up for giving most merciful to appreciate good deeds and recompense. Abul Tabarak wa Ta'ala wa Rattili al Qur'an al Tawtila and recite the Qur'an Allah in a slow, pleasant tone and style in Bukhari, in Bukhari, as transmitted for the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Khayyukum man ta'ala wa Qur'ana wa allama the best of you is he. Learn the recitation and rendition beautifully of the glorious Quran and talk to them. In another hadith, Quran, Kama Kala Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Quran, for in the way I see you, and the Amish is a dear and a sadi, little glorious Quran, for it will come one day of on the day of standing in the ceiling for those who use it as transmitted by Muslims. Millennials. Rendition of recitation of the, of the glorious Quran. This is yet another aspect of Muslims' duty. Regarding the Quran recited in a good, beautiful voice. Kama qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ma abin Allah wa shayin, ma abin al-nabiyin hasan al-sawti, yatamanna bil Quran, bil Qurani, yad hawdi, mutafakun ala bi huayra. There is nothing there is, no, there is nothing which Allah graciously permitted the Prophet Sallallahu to do than the finest voice and melodiously reciting the glorious Quran. But alas, is the duty of Muslims towards Quran only that or there is another segment to it of equal importance with its beautiful and melodious recitation? Is it in is it in reality ceremony of his memorizers in big ceremonies with various prizes and that's all? There is emphatically a segment of equal importance to memorization and rendition. That is the theme of our lecture today, the presence of Quran in our lives. As long as Quran will not be present in our lives, then we, 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 we still have a very long way to go after the recitation. As scholars of Quran, as ulama, as shiuch, as as, as, as why is the presence of Quran in our lives? As ulama, as shiuch, as people of Quran themselves, where is the presence of Quran in our lives? As Muslim leaders, where is the presence of and in our lives. As Muslim political leaders, administrators, intellectuals, and elites, where is the Quran in our lives? 
as traders, farmers, office workers, where is the Quran in our lives? As parents, guardians, brothers and sisters, and neighborhood, where is the Quran in our lives? Sowing the seed of Quran in our hearts. Have we sowed the seed of Quran in our hearts? Until and unless we do that, we will continue to languish in media of challenges of food shortage and social insecurity after poverty, illiteracy, and disease. I do not Muslim Muna, Mata Zaran Quran is a good one. If Mosul, Rabbi Allah, Anu, Ahl Qurra, Minasah Rasulillah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Mata Zaran Quran is a good one. Mata Zaran Quran is a good one. Because all these things, what has the Quran implanted in your hearts? Irresponsible leadership or irresponsible scholarship and discipleship. Within ulama and their disciples, lack of adequate exemplary Muslim leadership, irresponsible political leadership, lack of parental and community leadership, envy, hatred, egoism, selfishness, and absence of feeling of responsibility are the main of our society today. Wherever the formation are inherent, there will be food shortage, insecurity of life, Poverty, disease, and illiteracy. Because of the absence of Quran, we fell into the ditch of almost failed societies within the Muslim communities. What is the Prophet complaining? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did complain Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. Alayhi Salatu Wasallam has documented in the glorious Quran of people who have forsaken the Quran. The more sickness suffered by present Muslim societies as we do today, Allah says in Surah Al Quran, relating the complaint of the Prophet, Wa'ala Rasulu Ya Rabbi, Inna Qawmi Takafu Wa'ala Quran Mahjura, and the Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam complained to Allah saying, Oh my Lord, very, my people desired this Quran, neither listened to it, nor acted on its laws and teachings. According to Imam Abdul Qayyim, Allah, desiring the Quran has three levels. Desiring it by disbelieving in it. Two, desiring it by not believing in it. Desiring it by not putting it into practice. The book of guidance, mercy, peace, and good life has been unfortunately turned into being used as charm, sorcery, incantation, and imparting evil uh, unto others. Unfortunately, it has degenerated to the level that within our own communities in this part of the country, or I have been degenerated, thrown into ditches, people and trees, and so on and so forth. Solution for the woman to regain her glory, there is no shelter or jump in the ground. The following processes must be observed unreservedly. Embracing the morals of Quran, after the whole of the Quran, Allah the Most High gave us an appetizer from the Bible of Quran while praising the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa inna ka la ala qurbi adin, and surely you conform yourself to sublime morality, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa bima rahmatu min Allahi. لِمْ تَلَهُمْ وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَضْلًا غَلِيلًا قَلِيلًا فَقُمْ مِنْ حَوْلِ فَعْفُ عَنْهُمْ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لَهُمْ وَشَاوِرُهُمْ فِي الْأَمْرِ فَإِذَا أَزَوْتَ فَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَكُونُ مُتَوَكِّلِينَ Allah the Most High He also taught us the exemplary qualities of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of the utility of love, care, respect of the glorious Quran What I saw the Allah was asked about the Attitude and behavior of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She said to the inquirer, Have you not read the Quran? He said, I I I I I did read the Quran. She said, then kind of full of Quran. If you have to see the attitude of Prophet Muhammad, the character of Prophet Muhammad, then it's the whole Quran. Therefore, what is what is the Quran in our lives? Two, living by the Quran. 
We have to really live by the Quran, brothers and sisters. Islam, you are not going to be able to do it. Or you will be able to do it. Why? I will not be able to do it. Why? I will not be able to do it. To do righteous deeds and forget oneself is the biggest misbehavior. Therefore, number three, the Ummah can only be out of the hydra-headed quagmire of the problems of social insecurity, food insecurity, the level pound of poverty, illiteracy and disease, unless we renew our Iman and Taqwa. Allah the Most High says, وَلَوْ أَنَّ أَهْلَ الْقُرَىٰ آمَنُوا وَاتَّقَوْا لَفَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ مَرْكَاتٍ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ And if the people of the towns had believed and had taqwa authority, certainly we should have opened for them blessings from the heavens and earth. Therefore, brothers and sisters of Islam, true worship of Allah as a source of social security, Allah says, فَلْيَعْبُدُ رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ and let them worship the Lord of this house, Ka'ala, he who has fed them against hunger and made them, uh, made them safe from fear. Um, solving problems through the glorious Quran. Quran is so embedded with methods and ways for solving problems. For Allah says in the glorious Quran, those three notable verses ولا نزيد من القرآن ما هو شفاء ورحمة للمؤمنين وإيش في سطور قول المؤمنين هو للذين آمنوا هدى وشفاء ذا القرآن الله سنت as a healing and mercy to those who believe in it and القرآن is a healing to the complex side of complex problems being suffered by Muslims and it is but the guidance and healing to the believers. I mean, one of the things that will make us benefit from the Quran is to become Quran friendly. Then you get that eminent peace and uh, peace and happiness in your own heart. الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَتَعْتَمَ إِلَّا قُلُوبُهُمْ بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ عَلَى بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ يَتَوَكَّلُ الْقُلُوبُ لِيَ أَنْوُسْهَاسَ أَسْتَدْ أَتْرَسْتْ بَالْمِنْبَرِسْ وَاللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى لَا وَشْوَالِي بَالْأَلْسَ مِنْبَرِسْ أَهَاسْ سَتْبِيسْ مُبَسَّمٌ لِلْتَوْبَةِ وَالْمُسْتَ بِالْكُنْسَتِ بِالْكُنْسَتِ بِالْ Chairman, it is important. One statement: It is not enough to only read and memorize the Quran. It is not enough to boast that I am a Hafiz. It is not enough to say I am an Alim. It is not enough to say I am a Muslim leader. It is not enough to say I am a successful businessman. It is not enough to say I am an elder until Quran is present in your own heart. If not. Then we continue to contemplate in the sense these are all circumvented and nothing will come to fruition at our present mess and painful condition in this country testifies to that. I conclude by saying the idea will turn back to Allah through his guidance, enshrining his glorious book, the Quran, the better. We shall see through that astonishing and monumental solutions to all our problems of insecurity, poverty, illiteracy, and diseases. I want to thank the organizers for the wonderful, the wonderful opportunity to be part of this like, sixth edition of the National Quranic Presentation Competition.
Kila honor and privilege. The wife is Royal Highness Dr. Abubakar Kumar Ibn Karbar Ebenemi, the daughter of Sheikh Wabarlo, the chairman of Borno State Council of Chiefs, the deputy president general of the Nigerian Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs, as well as the Mount Northern Islam, as well as the Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Nature Center, and the Nigerian Turkish University as well as the member of Nigerian Interreligious and Interface Council. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, family, to invite His Royal Highness, the Sheikh of Honor, Dario Wakobro. Standing for His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto.
prier. We are compared to so many spiritual challenges, ranging from kidnapping, paradigm vandalism, robbery, mandatory, Boko Haram, capitalism, capitalist spirit, communal justice, here and there, everywhere. So the only permanent solution to this problem is not for us to just sit down and see what is happening in the country or elsewhere. One, we must pray for Almighty Allah, 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 to bring permanent solution or to, to restore peace, permanent peace to our state and the nation. Otherwise, honestly, the second thing, to provide useful and credible information to the law enforcement agencies are very important. People are not being tasked. Honestly, they cannot do their work. Unless we cooperate and assist the security agents. So I'm appealing to everybody, not particularly to the society They have to. Compared to the existing heads, village heads, traditional heads, others, and traditional and overnight players, we know we are being all of us, everywhere, all in the They cannot just sit down and speak like that. But they don't have to know. It is not something that we must expect something from the government or something. We have to agree. Because we have to protect our elders. We have to protect our country, our state, and also the and all the agents. So that is very important. Um, I don't like to take up your time, but I just want to speak to the here and there. He said that the of this place, Sanita, the Lama of it, or Kostin, this is the politician, and other and other. So also, in my hands, the air of God, the light of God, the one of the human Adam, who thank you very much for all the hospitality that have given to this guy, the evidence of everybody. This is your Adam, who thank you very much for it. Chairman and members of the local organizing committee, thank you very much for the job we have. And finally, I wish to thank every one of us.